Welcome everyone. This is Zozo Stock Watch, and we're going to go right ahead and get into the uh, watch list for stocks I'm watching for uh, Monday and uh, perhaps the beginning of the week. Um, I just want to let you know I'm going to be doing a stock watch list um, each night during the week. So um, you can subscribe to my channel, Zozo Stock Watch, and hit the subscribe button. But um, I don't know if everybody knows about this nice little feature that YouTube has. And I'm just using this as an example. Um, so you hit the subscribe button on my channel. And then if you hit the little bell here, okay, and send me all notifications for this channel, right? So that will um, send you emails when I do a new um, video. It'll come right to your uh, email box. And then uh, you'll always be notified when I'm doing a video. All right, so just a heads up on that, and please hit the like button. I would appreciate that for my um, for my site after I do the videos. Uh, kind of gives me incentive. All right, so like I said, this is my channel, and hit the subscribe button, and thank you very much, and let's get that out of the way. And uh, in case um, you didn't know, I just wanted to, there was a news update on Korea. Uh, Korea test fires medium-range ballistic missile, and uh landing in the east sea so that happened um on sunday at 4:59 um p.m i guess that's their time so keep that in mind um you know for the futures and um in case you want to watch the futures tonight you can go here investors.com futures and i'll put this down in the uh, description for you and you can watch the overnight futures uh, if you are so inclined all right so let's go ahead and get right into the watch list First one up for on watch and uh, Arena had news on uh, Friday A R N A, and we have a uh, uh, seven million shares traded on Friday. We had a nice pop in the name and trying to get back over the 50 S M A, which is this blue line right here for A R N A. So that will be one that I have on watch. A lot of these little oil plays look the same because oil uh, made a nice comeback. Um, last week and so you have atw here 3.5 million shares and uh, coming up over the 50 sma so keep your eye on this one uh, i might get a nice trade over maybe 875 atw uh, 3.5 million shares on that name bbg another oil name and that's coming up over the 50 sma uh, close to 5 million shares traded we have a high here of 417 so keep your eye on that uh, biotech stock bdsi and doesn't look that dramatic let me scrunch the chart down a little bit uh 2.2 million shares it's getting above the moving averages here maybe looking for that two dollar and fifty cent break on bdsi and uh they had earnings last week so they got that out of the way so that might be one to watch uh bita b-i-t-a and in case you don't guys don't see it, um, I have BITA, the symbols right in the middle of the chart. But we're kind of breaking out here on uh, BITA. We have a high back here in um, September of 33.16. And we have a high on Friday of 32.80. So if we can clear that 33 again, you might get a continuation move in BITA, uh, 2. 2 million shares traded on this one on BITA. Okay, so keep your eye on that one. CCCR, I traded this one on Friday, got a nice trade in it. And um, in the afternoon on Friday, it was kind of like doing the, uh, you know, whack a mole. It was popping, dropping, popping, dropping. So, um, but, you know, it's getting interesting. Maybe it's trying to break this three. Uh, 3.2 million shares traded on Friday, CCCR. So keep this one on watch, has to be watched. Definitely, you know, setting up here. May do a complete failure, but um, I'm definitely gonna have this one on watch. CMLS, uh, under uh, $1 stock, but you see the volume, 1.1 million shares. Back over the 50 SMA right here, solid blue line. And, uh, you know, looking for, let's see, had a high Friday, 52 cents. So maybe 55 cents might get this one going on CMLS if you like to play those under $1 names. Uh, CMRE is a uh, in the shipping. And out of the shippers, doesn't look too bad. You know, a lot of the other shippers like Tops, Dries, and whatnot uh, look, look terrible. 
Uh, this one had a nice candle uh, for Friday, 1.2 million shares, and it's looking to break out. There's a high of 786, so maybe over 790. Let's just see what the high here on this candle was. And we have a high on this candle, 795. So you can wait for like 790, over 790, or you could wait for the $8 break. So keep that in mind also. COOL, a uh, nice candle here on um, Friday. Uh, volume is a little low for me, but the chart is, you know, nice. Um, has a high Friday of 1365. So, you know, take a look at this one. Just be cautious because it is a thinner name. Um, but, uh, you know, the chart did look like it was setting up nicely on this one. So we'll see if there's any kind of continuation move in the name. C-O-R-T, a name I'm watching, um, you know, starting to break out. Looking maybe for that high break from Friday, which was 11.89. So maybe 11.92, um, and you get the $12 break. I know it's come a, a long way, but um, in this bull market, um, it doesn't seem to matter. Of obviously, we would like a little bit of a pullback um, and some consolidation, uh, but we'll see. But I think it's a nice chart setup. I uh, wish we would have caught it a little bit earlier, maybe over the 10.50 break. Um, so, but I'll have this one on watch. Had uh, 1.4 million shares traded on uh, Friday. Uh, Cree, uh, I believe there was an insider purchase by uh, one of the directors on this one. So, got a nice volume pop on Friday. Almost 3 million shares. And we have a high on Cree of uh, 23.57. So, we're looking for maybe a setup on an intraday chart on uh, Cree. Okay, so keep that one on watch if it's going to make any kind of continuation move. Now, I'm just showing uh, First Solar. Um, it, it popped uh, or actually grinded up here and pulled back, bounced over the 20 SMA. So um, if oil is going to make a continuation, you know, move next week, uh, supposedly Russia and Saudis are, you know, thinking about um, continuation of the cuts and um in uh you know oil so we'll see if this wants to make a continuation move um it has a high of 36 7 36 68 so maybe over you know 36 75 but um you know we'll see let this set up maybe intraday or on a 15 minute chart uh gsat takeover rumor still you know abound on this one uh so friday not such a great candle but, uh, you know, anything can happen. And if this rumor start again on this GSAT, you know, they're thinking about they want to put themselves up for sale, supposedly. So keep that one on watch. Uh, HOV Home Builders, nice chart here holding the 50 uh, SMA on HOV and uh, 1.3 million shares, uh, $2.40 has a high of uh, 242 so 245 might be enough to get it going um, ha right here has a high of 245 so over that 245 spot on HOV uh, JKS big volume came into the name on Friday and um, so we'll see if this one can give us a continuation move or a pullback or if it ignites the other solar stocks so this is solar stock too on a JKS I think this is a China solar stock so don't quote me on that um, LEN uh, another home builder with a nice chart getting back over the 50 SMA which is that solid blue line uh, 2.3 million shares came into the name 52.15 was the close and the high is 52.32 so maybe 52.35 on a LEN um, Macy's uh, just because you know retailers have just been smashed and we are getting kind of a hammerish kind of type candle so uh, or doji um, so maybe this might be you know changing direction um, we'll see I'll have it on watch this might be more of an afternoon trade um, to see if it can you know turn back up on uh, Macy's uh, MTBC we had this big pop with volume. Now it's pulled back to the 20 SMA, held this 20 SMA. So I'm looking for this, you know, maybe two, $2 break, 205 break on MTBC. 
to see if we can get you know more action in the name another oil name nbr uh you know over 10 million shares we had the hammer candle here uh, we have a high of uh let's see on this name 1056 so maybe 1060 will be enough to uh, get this going obviously you have to keep an eye on uh, oil or the uso intraday if you're going to play some of these oils but they are you know getting a bounce with volume and you see it held you know this nine dollar area um, here and here so see if they can turn these oils back up another oil name oas uh, over almost six million shares traded we have a high on oas of 1205 so we'll see if we can break that 1205 1208 spot on a OAS QHC big volume came into the name on Friday uh, over almost 4 million shares nice candle held its gains um, you know don't want to chase it it's up here at um, uh, 398 but uh, if it can get, get over the high of day 410 you might have you might not have a choice but to you know take that break of friday's high uh, we would like you know some consolidation maybe back down to you know 375 but you don't always get what you want so you have to play what's on the charts uh, ren this one makes some um, you know nice moves it can be spready at times on ren so if you do play this one play it small but it can give you nice moves and um so we're breaking back up over the 100. We held the uh, 20 SMA on the name right here. We held here. Um, we're at the we held the 13. We're back above the fast moving averages, and the uh, 50 SMA is starting to curl up. And as you see, the 200 is sloped up also. Uh, RUN is another solar name, smaller name, 1.2 million shares. Friday has a high on friday of 510 so you know over that 510 spot 512 spot uh, might get a continuation move in run um, another uh, i have another solar coming up so i'll show you that one too spwh uh, this had earnings last week and uh over 7 million shares traded um, maybe back over 575 580 uh, it's trying to break that six area and um, couldn't do it on Friday, but um, this might give a nice intraday um, play. Uh, the other solar that I was going to mention was this SPWR. Uh, needs to, you know, get out over this 200 SMA, but, you know, first solar did it. So we'll see if this SPWR can do it also. We have a high of uh, 764. And we had uh, almost 3 million shares traded in the name and the 200 sma is up at uh 779 so you know see if it takes out the high uh friday of 764 but just keep in mind you have the 200 sma up there ahead but um if it has enough strength it should be able to you know blow up through that 200 sma uh ua under armor or you can play uh, uaa if you so so prefer uh, either one um and uh but ua we had a uh, four million shares traded you see it's been decimated you have this gap down um you know trying to get a change of direction candle here so maybe if it takes out 18 the shorts might get nervous in the name uh, and start covering and uh you know might get a continuation move up um one that i don't have on my list but um hertz kind of did that on friday so we'll see you know if this hurts also uh wants to give a continuation move 11 million shares so under armor and you know macy's um you know maybe they're going to make a turn also so keep an eye on those uh vsm uh, kramer talked about this one on friday um i think it was yeah vsm let me just check my five minute i'm pretty sure it was this this one yeah it was okay so vsm kramer was talking about on his friday show and he you know popped this thing up on uh friday so we'll see if we can get any other kind of move in uh vsm i uh, i think Bill, what he was saying was it's connected to the semiconductor uh industry um supplies some of the gases and things like that so vsm uh, might be one to watch uh lastly wll 
Uh, we had uh, 18 million shares traded in this name on Friday. Uh, trying to break out over this $9 spot. We have a high Friday of 8.95. Um, you know, if you can let it clear 9, we're back over the 50 SMA. But once again, you know, these oil names are going to depend on, you know, what oil does. This is the USO, the ETF for oil uh, for intraday. And this is oil, light, sweet, crude. And uh, as you see for the week, you know, oil was up almost 6%. So, um, you know, some of these names that I mentioned uh, that I have on watch, WLL, the last one I finished with, you know, you might get a continuation move in some of these names possibly. All right. So this has been Zozo Stock Watch. Um, good luck with your trading this week. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be doing a video each day, stocks to watch. Um, Saturday I put out, let's get ready for the week ahead. So if you click on this, uh, I go into more depth on some news and also earnings economic reports coming out and uh, go through you know different sectors and some of the major stocks okay and like i said if you want to subscribe to my channel please hit the subscribe button click that little bell and um, you'll have emails alerted to you uh, when i do make a new video and yes i am trying to get my subscribership up on uh, YouTube so I appreciate your help with that and here's your link to your futures for tonight and like I said Korea fired off that missile so we'll see how that affects the uh, futures all right everyone have a very good night um, good trading for the week ahead and um, see you back here uh, Monday with uh, stocks to watch thank you very much for listening and have a great evening